very hilarious for me. Uh, I want to start by thanking the Almighty God who gives us, you know, who deposits great treasure in us and not only doing that, giving us the ability to use those treasures to do wonderful things. And to him be all the glory forever and ever. Uh, I want to thank LNG for this wonderful thing they are doing. In fact, uh, I'm very, very uh, happy that um, this company, a Nigerian company, uh, is not only thinking about making profit, but thinking about how to invest these profits into the society. And I can say together with them, I believe in LNG. Um, I've got a lot of friends that work in this company. I know they take good care of their workers. And I was once, you know, tempted to go in there. But I, I'm glad I'm where I am today. Um, not only that, actually, when I got this award, I started looking at their website. And I was amazed to see how much they do in terms of uh, corporate social responsibility. It's amazing. I watch a lot of young people who give te testimony how they have been sent abroad to study. And, and, and I just want to say that, please, other companies that are there to emulate uh, you know, this company, uh, I know that we have a lot of companies in Nigeria. Um, where, I come, where I work, actually, you see, a single professor can get up to 50 million euros, just one professor, to do research work. And this is largely by companies, okay? And, and if these companies can do them there, why can't they do it, do it here? So it's not just about the money, but I'm trying to use this opportunity to make case for Nigerian scientists. I visit Nigeria often, and uh, I, want, I want to say that if you're a scientist and you really want to do science at a top level, the Nigeria environment can be a graveyard. But I believe that with the willpower and the ability of companies like LNG and others, not only giving cash award, but also supporting scientists, giving scientific research funding, I believe that people like me will be here doing wonderful things, and the world will know that, yes, we can do it. And so it's, it's a call for others to join. And having said that, I want to thank the, uh, the advisory panel, the members of the advisory panel. In fact, when I heard about this award, uh, I was hesitating to apply for this award for two things. I was like, would they really care about my, my work? That's one thing. But when I look at the caliber, the qualifications, and the profile of these people, I feel that, yes, even if I don't win, I'll be very, very happy because I know that they will do a thorough job. And another positive surprise that I received is the fact that when I was applying, I always say, people wouldn't appreciate what I do in Africa or in Nigeria. We're talking about nanotechnology. We're talking about people who are dying of hunger. There is Boko Haram and all those things. I've got abundant natural gas, you know, and oil, and you're talking about alternative energy. Who is going to listen to you? So I was hesitating of even applying for, for this funding, because, for this grant, because actually my work is to change the narrative. Huh? And I'm happy and somehow positively disappointed that this panel member, they're actually reasoning in the 21st century that they knew that actually the way forward is to find a way that we can produce energy in such a way that we're going to do it in a sufficient way and in a sustainable way. So I really thank them for doing a very thorough job, not because I win, but because of the fact that yeah, they are thinking like the way the, the rest of the world is thinking. So thank you very much for the job, you, great job you've done. And I want to thank, um, you know, you rise, you know, you ride on the horses of others. And uh, in terms of scientific career, I can mention a lot of people, but three people stood out. I wanted to show their image, but I was not allowed. I want to thank these three people. Uh, Professor Crying the Young, he was not able to be here today. They are all Dutch people, by the way. Professor Crying the Young, who is a, he's, he's a well-known guy, just Google his name. He's a very great scientist. Professor Petra the Young, these two people, they mentored me in science while I was a PhD student. And after studying with them, I was somehow brainwashed that even my wife said, apart from science, I know you cannot do any other thing. You know? Because the kind of inspiration and passion they saw in me to do science is what kept me going even when things are tough. And I want to thank Professor Bernard, Bernard Dam from Delft University of Technology, who also uh, helped me during my postdoc. 
and I still work together with them, and it's really great pleasure, pleasure working with them. And I think the thing about the Dutch is that they are very straightforward. If you're good, they tell you you're good. If you're bad, they tell you. They look at your face, they tell you you're not good. So, and I, I'm really happy for that because it really helped me to really not just people praising you, but they tell you they're critical. And because of their critical attitude, I became very, very critical scientist. And that's what you need to be able to have a scientific breakthrough. And I want to thank my, my, my family members. You know, it's, 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 it's wonderful. You know, I do tell them every time how much I love them. Uh, my immediate family, my wife that is here. Thank you for... <laughs> so thank you for the wonderful support you've been giving to me. Without, without you, you know, taking proper care of the family and all these things, there's just no way I can think very well. You come back home and everywhere is noisy. You cannot think scientifically. So I really want to thank you for being there for me and uh, supporting me all the time. And I want to thank my, my, my family, my mother who is here. Um, thank you very much. And uh, my younger brothers and my sisters who are here, I want to thank you for being there for me, supporting me, not disturbing me, but, you know, say, since this is what you want to do, just go ahead and do it, you know. So, and, and it's been wonderful. And I want to thank my dad who is late. He's not here. Daddy, you could not give me education. You could not even pay for my secondary school, school, uh, school fee. But you taught me some wonderful things. Honesty, hard work, integrity. You always told me, Daddy, one way they come, and it's true. Just work hard, and then, and I think that's what I owe my children, and that's what I owe them to teach them that, you know, spirit of honesty, hard work, integrity. With that, you know, the sky is your limit. And having said that, I just want to thank you all for for being here. I love this country, and I love this environment. Thank you very much.